Hi, in this video, I wanna show you a really cool text effect just like this that you can create inside Create Studio. So as you can see, we've got this text typing on and at the start, we've got this blinking cursor and it just basically goes ahead and types it out and then backspaces it off like that. And you can use this technique in explainer videos and promotional videos, it's a really cool one and I'm sure you'll find some great purposes for it. So underneath this video, I'll link to that blinking cursor where you can download to use with this project. Um, so go ahead and download that and what we're going to do is go ahead and start from scratch. So just create a new project and you can change whatever color you like for the background. And what I'm going to do first of all is just drag and drop this blinking cursor. And this one's actually an MP4 video with a black background. But I'll also add in the MOV file that you can use as well if you just want to use a transparent MOV um, for your project. So the cool thing about using MP4s with black and white like this is that you can actually remove that black part by going to blend modes over here. And then clicking on screen. And you'll have to see now that we've got this white blinking cursor like that, okay? So you can do that or you can just use a transparent MOV if you want to use that as well. Um, with the MP4, the good thing about it is it's a lot smaller file size, so I really like using that uh, for things like this. So what we've done now is added that blinking cursor, and at about one second, what we wanted to do is start typing out the text. So I'm going to go and click on text, add my text layer, and now you can type in whatever text you like. So I'm going to go with how to create a cool text effect. Okay, something like that and just resize it and center it on your screen like so. Cool, so we've got this text effect and we've got the blinking cursor. So what I wanna do is first of all go and create the text effect. So I'm gonna to go to the, my text, drop it down, click on text effects and go to typewriter. And you're about to see that it types from the center to the left. So what we wanna do is change that so it types from the, the left to the right. So I'm gonna to go to rotation point and go to top left and now you have to see that we've got this really nice text effect like that. And the next thing we wanna do is basically position this blinker around the middle of the text, so about the first letter about here. And we're gonna make this move to the right at the same time as it's typing. So what you wanna do is click on the blink cursor, drop it down, click on animations and position. And make sure you select the position properties and then just drag this over to the same duration as that effect okay so they're going to end at the same time so now what we're going to do is basically just move this indicator to the end of the animation over here and we want to set the position of the blinker at that point on the timeline so i'm just going to select this hold down shift and drag to the right and make it stop about here and you have to see if i just play this through that we've got this effect, but the indicator is moving too fast. So that's to do with the easing that we're using. So what we want to do is just right click on here, go to easing and go to both and then select linear. And this is going to make the speed go at one constant speed and for, for both the in and out of the animation. So let's just preview that. Okay, cool. So we might even want to make this a little bit faster. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit closer and just maybe make it at one frame or so. Let's just see that. So we want it to go slightly ahead of the actual text typing. So let's just again preview this from the start. Okay, that's really cool. You could even make it slightly faster, but I think that's looking good for now. And the next thing we want to do is once that it types on, after about four seconds, we want it to backspace off. So after about three seconds or so. So what I'm going to do for this effect is I'm going to select my text, go to motion, go to out and go to fade, okay? So we're gonna create a fade effect, but instead of fading the entire text like so, what we need to do is go into the text uh, motion preset property. So select the fade, go to the settings icon, go to letters, and you wanna select reverse and 99%, okay? So it's gonna fade out each letter one by one, reversing like so, okay? So now we've got this really cool effect, and what we wanna do is just simply right click on this custom animation, so I'm just gonna zoom a bit closer, right click on it, go to duplicate reverse, and it's gonna create the same animation but reversing it. So let's just preview this. And we might just come in a bit closer as well, just see that it's all in line. So let's have a look at this. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Might even make it slightly off, let's have a look. Yeah, so play around with the speed and things like that, but you can see that's looking really good right now. And the final thing we wanna to do to make this even look more realistic is add some sound effects. So I'm gonna go 
and grab this one here, this typing of keyboard effect. And you can grab like sound effects from places like Pixabay to create, you know, get some free sound effects like this. So we've got this going on like this. And you basically want to make the sound effect the same duration as that typing effect, okay? So I'll just preview this. That's looking really good. And also I'm going to add this backspace one. So let's just drag and drop this over like so. Cool, so let's just preview the entire animation. Cool, so that's how to create a really nice text effect typing in and backspacing off inside Create Studio. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a go with it and try it out yourself. And as always, have fun creating.